Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to import stock data into your Power BI model. This involves using R, so make sure you have R downloaded on your machine, and then it's a very simple process. So let's go to R Studio. Um, we need to make sure we have installed git, uh, batch git symbols. And once we, ha once we have that library installed, we'll just need to get the SP500 stocks. This is a function from batch git symbols. And then we'll take the tickers column from that return. And then all we have to do is call the batch git symbols function, throw in our list of tickers, and set a first date and last date. So this is basically the date range that we want to get data for. I set it to today minus 365 days and um, until today. So basically just give me last year's data for all of the tickers in the S&P 500. And finally, we need to return this result as a data frame. Uh, Power BI can only accept data frames, so we need to make sure that our result is data frame. And then for the purposes here, I just printed it. So if you go ahead and run the script from this, this portion, it might take a little while, but you will get all the data you need. So coming over to Power BI, we see that we have a bunch of stocks here. If we go ahead and click on one or a couple, we can see how we have all this data here. Let's go ahead and clear all those. We also have a slicer up here where we can just type in whichever um, stocks we want, like Google, Apple, Microsoft, go ahead and click filter, and you have those three tickers. Awesome, so let me show you how I got here. So all I had to do was enter a uh, fake table here. I just put in data. I call this stocks, but I'll call this table stocks two. So now I just have an empty table in stocks two. Let's edit that query. So in stocks two, I needed to come to transform, run our script. And from there, all I had to do was take this portion, copy it, and paste it into the uh, R script editor. I threw that in there. And once I clicked OK and went and closed and applied, my data was already there because it was importing the data as a data frame that looked like this. So it gave us all of the information here along with the ticker symbol. So with all this stuff, um, with that code, you'll be able to get all of the data for all of the S&P 500 stocks. And just another quick look, this looks awesome. We can filter um, based on these tickers and there are 500 tickers to choose from. So you get all this data that you want and it was a very simple process. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.